Hey guys, Alessia here. We are working our booty today. So we're actually gonna be on the mat the whole time. You don't need any equipment today except for your mat. Or maybe a carpet, you can even do this in your bed or while you're lazily watching Netflix one night, anytime. Are we ready? Let's do it. We come down onto our backs to start. Place those feet hip distance and close enough to our booty that we can tickle those heels. Lifting the booty up by pressing through those heels and then coming back down to a hover. In three, two, and one. Pressing through those heels and coming back down to a hover. Try not to drop your weight at the bottom. Try to keep weight in those feet and just hover at the bottom. Really try to control the core. Try not to arch the back too much. The work is really staying in the booty as opposed to being in that lower back. You've got five, four, Three, two, and one. Bring those feet together, so nothing moves except for those feet. Feet together, knees together. We are going to lift up and we're gonna march it out, alternating legs that lift. Nothing moves in the upper body, those feet are just close together, and you're really gonna use those abs and that booty to lift that knee up. Our other leg really strongly supports the leg that lifts. Squeezing through that booty, pressing through that heel every time. Keep it going. Trying to keep that core nice and controlled. Breathing here. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. For this next one, we're going to come back up into that bridge. Walk onto that heel. Lengthen those legs. Booty stays high. Then other side. Then back in and in. So walking it out. Nice and big. Booty stays high. Pressing through those heels every time. Whew. Breathing here, controlling that core. Okay, try not to rock those hips side to side. Making sure you're switching feet every single time. Nice, booty higher if you can. Keep it going here. Three, get one more in, two, and one. Nice, Whew. you can bring those knees into your chest, rocking side to side. Taking a little break before we do that again. Feet come to hip distance, close enough to your booty that you can tickle those heels. Core is nice and strong. Press through those heels to lift the booty up in three, two, and one. Nice and high, hinging at those hips, coming down to a hover and up and down. Nice. Breathing here, breathing in and out as you lift. Try not to arch that lower back, keeping that work in those glutes. Pressing through those heels every single time. Ooh, this is starting to burn. You've got five, four. Holding the booty up in three, two, and one. Hold it up, walk those feet together, march it up. Try to keep that booty in the same place the entire time. So we're not dipping down, we're not lifting higher, we're trying to keep it nice and stable. Ooh, this is starting to really burn. This is a great booty exercise here. Once again, control that core. Try not to rock those hips side to side. You've got five, four, holding it up in three, two, and holding it up. One foot out, then the other, in, in, booty high, other side, alternating every single time. Trying to keep that booty nice and high. Oh wow, this is burning. Nice, keep it going guys, booty high here. Almost there. You've got five, four, three, all the way to the end, two, and one, nice. Roll back onto the mat, bring those knees into the chest, rocking side to side. We are now going to come onto our side. To set this one up, you're gonna be essentially lying down like you might in bed. Your knees are right in front of those hips. Those feet are gonna be right under those knees. You're also gonna stick that booty out a little bit behind you. Your head is either gonna be resting on your arm or you can come up and rest it in your hand here, okay? It's up to you. I'm gonna stay like this. Light touch with that top hand. We're gonna start by just lifting that leg up and down, okay? That's it, not too high. Just high enough that we start to feel it and then we bring it back down in three. Two, and one. Little up, little down. Nice. Keep it going here. I know it doesn't feel like much, but it will soon. And with the next couple of moves that we're doing, 
This is the third and final series of this workout today. So you are more than halfway. In fact, you're more than two thirds of the way. Keep it going. Making sure those knees are right in front of those hips. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next one, it's gonna stay really similar. We're gonna lift that leg, then our knees are gonna come together. Then we're gonna open up that knee, bring it up toward the ceiling, ankles are gonna come together. Kiss of the knees, kiss of the ankles. Kiss of the knees, and kiss of the ankles. Nice, this is really a doozy. So push through. Try to keep those hips both facing me, and really try to rotate through those hips, especially if you work in an office, this is great to increase the mobility in those hips and strengthen those glutes. Keep it going. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, a little rest, I'm already starting to feel a burn. Definitely gonna feel a burn during this next one, okay? We're just gonna build. Straighten that leg, turn the toe so it's facing down, dip that toe into water, and then lift it back up. Really make sure that toe is pointed down, that's where the work is. Breathing here. Whew. Keep it going, you're about halfway there. Breathing here, you've got five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, you can release that side, and then we're gonna come into the other side. So last part of this booty workout here is the other side. Those knees are right in front of those hips, and those feet are right underneath those knees. So it's like you're sitting on a chair, but you're lying down. Head can either be in your hand, or it can be resting down. Maybe if you just rolled out of bed, you might wanna just put your head down. <laughs> Up to you. And those hips stay stacked. Top hand is light. We're going to start with just lifting and lowering on this side. So up and down. Now again, you don't need to lift too high. You just want to go about there, maybe about a foot, foot and a half, and back down. Really stick out that booty. That's where the burn is too. Nice. Keep it going here. Ooh, I'm shaking. My whole body is shaking, even though it looks like I'm barely moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next exercise, kiss the knees, then open up that knee, kiss the ankles. Kiss the knees, and then open up the knees, kiss the ankles. Whew. This is a hard one. Nice. Really try and open up through that knee. And if it feels a little crunchy in there, know that that's okay. Do what you can. You can make the movement a little smaller if you need to, but practice and come back to it because this is a great one for hip mobility. Three, two, and one. Final exercise here. Straighten that leg, point that toe down, tap it down, and up. Down, and up. Make sure that toe is pointed down. That's where a lot of this work is, okay? I don't want you to miss that work. Next, use your glute to really lift that leg down, and up. Breathing here. We're almost through this workout. Remember, if you want more, you can always do this twice. Totally cool, although brave. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! You can punch that out. And that is it for today, my friends. All right, see you next time.